Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. Word is bond, love is love. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the above. And if you ain't doing anything today, follow my Instagram, Ruga underscore Rose. We are here. All right. So I'm going to try and do this video for the last couple of days. Hopefully I can get it done today. Because 2022 is right around the corner, which means it's only right and it's about that time to grade every pay-per-view of 2021 for WWE. I grade, I don't rank. I don't do that. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so we're kicking off with the 2021 Royal Rumble in which... Swear Rumble wasn't. I ain't gonna say it was. It, it if it was like the same level as last year's, but it wasn't bad though. You had Drew McIntyre versus Goldberg for the WWE Championship, in which a lot of people thought Goldberg would win. Drew McIntyre retains. Um, you had Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax beat Charlotte and Oscar. For the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. Sasha Banks in a rematch versus Carmella. Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens in a last man standing match for the Universal Championship. And of course the Royal Rumbles themselves. Bianca Belair winning the women's. Edge winning the men's. Uh, the Women's Royal Rumble was probably the one of the best Women's Royal Rumbles. I've, I've always said the first ever Women's Royal Rumble is probably the best one out of all. So this is what this was this was number four. So I think this is probably this probably exceeded that. Or is this like number two? So I got you gotta compare the both. Gotta compare each. Um and of course the men's Royal Rumble was um very it was unpredictable, honestly, because there were so many scenarios that, that could have went. You you heard people talking about uh if go uh, Goldberg would enter the Rumble, then he would win it. Or Drew McIntyre lost the WWE Championship, he would enter the Rumble and win it back to back. You know, Seth Rollins would win, Daniel Bryan would win. A lot of people said Edge would win. Some people said Randy Orton would win. You know, what I'm saying so many different scenarios of how all this could have played out, but Edge was able to get the win, where he. Started from number one, worked his way up to number 30. 48 years old, man, and he's doing that. That's actually type crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Um, so with those two rumbles, which were good, uh, the Universal Championship match was good. Uh the WWE Championship match was what it was supposed to be. But the two women's matches kind of fell flat. Um, with that being said, I give the Royal Rumble, I would give that an B plus, maybe an A minus. Nah, I give it a B plus. I give it a B plus, B plus, B. Okay. Then we advance to the Elimination Chamber where I put the Elimination Chamber as one of the lower pay-per-views for the year because i believe the only two matches that were wa worth watching on this pay-per-view were the elimination chambers the thing about the thing about both of them is that both of them had weird endings uh the smackdown limits chamber started the night off and it was a very great elimination chamber the thing about that is um Whoever won it had to face the Universal Champion right after. Like, so you had to face a hundred percent fresh Roman Reigns right after you won a forty-minute match. <laughs> okay, <laughs> great. It made Roman look, look look more of a dick, but still, like, what the hell? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, and of course, the WWE Championship in the Chamber, Drew McIntyre retained, so that was the right. That, that was. Was it the right decision? Yeah, pretty much was the right decision. Then Bobby Lashley attacks him from behind, attacks him after the match, and then the Miz cashes in to become WWE champion for two weeks. <laughs> he literally rented the WWE title <laughs> for two weeks. 
that that's literally what it was. That 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 was just a waste of time. Um, other than that, there was only two other matches on this card. It was um, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax defending the the women's tag team championships against Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair, which was a waste of time because that didn't go anywhere or do anything. And then, of course, uh, Riddle beat Lashley and John Morrison, who was replacing Keith Lee because Keith Lee had to pull out of the match due to medical reasons that we will learn later on. To become the United States champion. And that match was alright. That match was pretty good. Um, other than that. Um, I give the Elimination Chamber a C-. minus. Wasn't much to it. It was there. Then we move on to Fastlane. A pay-per-view that I ain't gonna lie to you. Was poorly placed. Poorly placed. Because literally after that pay-per-view, two weeks were left for WrestleMania. Only two. <laughs> and not and the card wasn't even fully done yet. So that should have told you a lot. <laughs> um So for Fast Lane, uh let's see, we had uh was headlined by Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan, which was a fantastic match, by the way. Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan, one of the matches of the year, by the way. <laughs> Just put it out there. Um, you also had Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus in a it was a no holds barred or a street fight. That was still that was a good match, definitely a good match. Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura is one of the more underrated matches of the year. You definitely need to see that. I don't think not many people talk about that match. If you, if you, you trust me, Fastlane, Seth Rollins, Shinsuke Nakamura, watch it. It's a fan. It's a very good match. Very good match. Um, what else happened? Uh, Big E versus Apollo Crews happened, um, that night as well. Um, but that pretty much was, that pretty much set up the WrestleMania match. Uh, Sasha Bianca challenged Nia and Shayna again for the Women's Tag Team Championships. And that did nothing. Again, it did nothing. And Sasha, as the SmackDown Women's Champion, lost again. Back-to-back pay-per-views. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> go figure. Um, this was also Braun Strowman uh, versus Elias, because it was supposed to be Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon. Never happened. And uh, this was also Randy Orton versus Alexa Bliss, in which The Fiend came back, and then boom. The minute he came back... No, I'm sorry. That was the, that was the Raw after. Sorry. But The Fiend came back that night, and yeah, that was that. Um, so this match, so this match, this pay-per-view had three good matches. Three good, three really good matches. So with that being said, I give Fastlane, I give it a C plus. I give it a C plus only for the three great matches that it produced. Other than that, that's all I can give it. Because everything else was either misplaced, makes no sense, or just should not have happened. <laughs> Simple as that. And then we move on to the grandest stage of them all. WrestleMania 37. Fans are back for the first time in a year. The atmosphere is crazy. Everybody's excited. We're excited as viewers because we actually don't got to deal with the Thunderdome, at least for this time. You had rain delays in night one. You had spontaneous interviews in night one. You also had a couple keynotes. This will be the final WWE pay-per-view. For the fiend, Bray Wyatt, or Bray Wyatt himself, Daniel Bryan, and Samoa Joe. Wyatt got released, Daniel Bryan left, Samoa Joe got released. As well as, this was the first WrestleMania without Brock Lesnar since 2013. Mind you, Brock has been at every single WrestleMania since he's come back. 
And this was the first WrestleMania without John Cena since 2003. Ever since WrestleMania 19, John Cena's been in every single WrestleMania. Every single one. 2016, he didn't have a match, but he appeared. 2019, the one I was at, he didn't have a match, but he appeared. I'm telling you, Cena's, C Cena made sure he never missed the Mania, but this time around it was due to scheduling. So, boom, that, that was that. But other than that, not a bad Mania, though. Not a bad WrestleMania. Headlined by, of course, both main events. Um, main event for night one, Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks for the SmackDown Women's Championship. A historic match in itself. Two African-American women in the main event of WrestleMania. You love to see it. On top of that, that match was one of the matches of the year. Mwah! It's beautiful. And another match of the year was the night two main event, Roman Reigns, Edge versus Dan and Daniel Bryan for the Universal Championship. Mwah! You love to see it. Other matches comprised of Drew McIntyre versus Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship. Very physical match. You had Rhea Ripley versus Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship, in which Rhea won. You had Bad Bunny steal the show with Damian Priest as they take on The Miz and Morrison, in which The Miz and Morrison, before the match started, came out with a whole bunch of bunnies. Yeah, go figure. Um... You had uh, Kevin Owens beat Sami Zayn, then stunned Jake Paul. Wait, was that Jake Paul or Logan Paul? I think it was Logan. I think he, he, stunned, he stunned one of the Paul bros. <laughs> I guess it was Logan Paul, which was a bad stunner, by the way. Like, he broke his neck. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, you had Apollo Crews winning the Continental Championship from Big E. You had uh, AJ Styles and Omos win the Raw Tag Team Championships. You had uh, you had the whole thing with the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships, um, the tag team turmoil, and the match itself. I hated both of them. Um, Randy Orton beating the Fiend in a very unquestionable match and a very unquestionable decision. Well, the match wasn't unquestionable. The decision was questionable. I that Randy Orton should never won that honestly. Um, Braun Strowman beats Shane McMahon in a surprising steel cage match. Um, Cesaro beats Seth Rollins in a very good match. Um, I feel like for, oh, uh, Sheamus beats Riddle for the United States Championship. Uh, am I forgetting anything? Let me use reference, reference, reference. No, I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. That's both nights. So, with both nights combined and everything like that, I give WrestleMania 37, I give that bad boy a A minus. An A minus, yes. Surprise. The way we got here, nobody liked, but the show was rather good. Then we move on to WrestleMania Backlash, where. Yeah, we went a little downhill here. Headlined by Roman Reigns versus Cesaro. Very good match. Very good match. And I think that was the only very good match. <laughs> I think it was. Because Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre versus Braun Strowman. And Braun Strowman's final WWE pay-per-view. Triple threat for the WWE Championship was all right. Uh, Rhea versus Asuka versus Charlotte for the Raw Women's Championship was all right. Uh, Rhea won that. Um, what else happened that night? I can't even remember. Oh, Bianca Belair and uh, Bailey went at it. Uh, Bianca Belair won by outsmarting Bailey. I didn't like the finish, honestly. Um, oh, this is when the Miz got eaten by a zombie. This is when the Miz got eaten by a zombie. <laughs> I'm going to talk about The Miz in my uh, WWE 2021 review, but, oh boy, The Miz this year, God, <laughs> God. Um, but Damian Priest beat The Miz in a lumberjack match, and again, The Miz got eaten by a zombie. This also was when Dominic and Rey Mysterio made history to become 
the first ever father and son tag team champions, which was a great moment. I just wish that happened at WrestleMania in front of fans. I feel like that should have happened in front of fans. That would have been better off doing that, but it didn't it didn't work that way. So yeah. We got that. So other than that, um, as I said, it was only I think it was only a one match pay per view. I think this was a one match pay per view. So with that being said, I give WrestleMania Backlash a a a D? Dan, do I count this word? I give it a D. <laughs> I give it a D. I give it a D. I give it a D. We give it a D. D plus. I'll be nice. D plus. <laughs> give it a D plus. Moving on to Hell in a Cell. Um, and WWE didn't get any better. <laughs> it didn't get any better. <laughs> um, so this was the final pay-per-view in the Thunderdome. So hopefully we made progress, and I don't believe that we did. <laughs> this was headlined by Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship, in which if Drew lost, he would never challenge as long as Bobby Lashley was WWE Champion. Bobby Lashley won with the most devastating move in all of sports entertainment, a surprise roll-up. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Bianca Belair and Bailey had a Hell in a Cell match for the SmackDown Women's Championship, which is a very solid match. That was a very good match. That's probably the only the best match on the, on this card, wasn't it? Uh, Cesaro and S Cesaro and Seth had a a good rematch. They had a good rematch. Um, Alexa Bliss and Shayna Baszler happened, and I wish that didn't happen. That wasn't that that was. <laughs> this is like. Uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn had a rematch as well. Um, Sami Zayn won that one. And Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair had their match. And the fact that it ended with Rhea Ripley getting herself disqualified, which was beyond stupid because you're the face. <laughs> Why are you getting yourself disqualified saying, I outsmarted you like a fucking idiot. I swear to God. That match had me tight because was, it, was, it was a good match until that point, honestly. So beyond that, uh, I give, I probably have, hell, I give Hell in a Cell a B, uh, I'm not B, I give Hell in a Cell a D plus as well. Because I didn't, I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, granted, Roman Roman Reigns and Rey Mysterio are supposed to be on this card too. If that, if that actually was supposed to be on that card, if that actually made it to the card, it probably would have got a better grade. But it, it it just didn't hit. It, it just it just it just didn't make it. It just didn't make it, my. It just didn't make it, my boy. It just didn't, it just didn't make it. We move on to money in the bank. Crowds, fans are finally back at a hundred percent. The atmosphere, I said the rest, the atmosphere for WrestleMania was crazy. No, 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 no. Money in the Bank was like a breath of fresh air. Like the fans were excited. The pay-per-view was great. It felt good. Like Money in the Bank felt great. It felt great. Headlined by Roman Reigns versus Edge. I believe I, I believe when I review this match, I didn't call it a classic, but I, I I'll sit here, go on the record, and say this was a classic. Edge versus Roman Reigns was a classic, especially with the fact that the end that John Cena came back to a the 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 biggest reaction, or I'm sorry, well the biggest reaction in WWE, but one of the biggest reactions of the year, like. Oh my god. If you never seen that, if you never seen John Cena return, Money in Bank, you need to watch that. The whew, that, Oh my god. That crowd reaction was crazy. Speaking of crowd reactions, everybody got pop. Pretty much everybody got pops. Everybody, you know, I'm telling you, it was crazy. Bobby Lashley destroyed Kofi Kingston for the WWE Championship. Um Big E won Money in the Bank. Nikki ASH won Money in the Bank. I wish she didn't. I wish that never happened, but it is what it is. Uh, the Usos became SmackDown Tag Team Champions, beating uh, the Mysterios. 
Uh, AJ Styles and Omos retained against the Viking Raiders. And I feel like I'm forgetting the match. Oh, yes, I am. Uh, Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair have a great match, a very good match for the Raw Women's Championship in which Charlotte wins. Now, the only... I don't think any match was bad. Um, Maybe the Raw Tag Team Championship match was eh. The Usos and the Mysterios was all right. Um, the Women's Money in the Bank was good. I just, I just hate the fact that Nikki won it. Um, other than that, best one of the best pay-per-views of the year. With that being said, I give Money in the Bank an A. We give it an A. Yes, we give it an A. And then we move on to SummerSlam. The biggest party of the summer. Biggest party of the summer. Where if you thought where if you thought John Cena's return was all we we're gonna get, oh no, you were sadly mistaken. Because <laughs> we got two returns this night as well. But this pay-per-view was headlined by Roman Reigns versus John Cena. The rematch. Couple years in the making. But now that Roman Reigns was this was the tribal chief, this match actually should be fantastic and it was it was a very good match one of the matches of the year then the then the beast brock lesnar makes his return see people see a lot of people said they they saw brock lesnar coming back stop lying because i didn't see brock lesnar coming back. so so if i never saw it you didn't i'm not saying i know more wrestling than you i'm just saying like i, I can't predict because brock was supposed to be at that pay-per-view he was supposed to be there in a match but he never got he never got scheduled for it, so instead he got scheduled for a return. So boom, another return happened was Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch made her return to her year, a year and a half absence. Boom, she's back after delivering a baby, <laughs> uh, interrupting Bianca Belair versus Carmella, which was supposed to be Bianca Belair versus Sasha, but Sasha couldn't perform after she came back. Um, so. <clears throat> Uh, then it became Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch, in which Becky embarrassed Bianca and won in 26 seconds. So yeah, that that blew up the internet in a way that you probably expect. <laughs> um, let's see. RK Bro beats uh, AJ Styles and Omos for the Raw Tag Team Championships. Uh, you had the Usos retain against the Mysterios for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Uh, Charlotte beats Rhea and Nikki A.S.H. to regain the Raw Women's Championship. Um, Bobby Lashley beat Goldberg for the WWE Championship in a match that I didn't think would go that long, but it did. <laughs> uh, Drew McIntyre versus Jinder Mahal. Drew won in a, what was it, like a six-minute match? <laughs> Um, Alexa Bliss beat Eva Marie in a pointless match. Um, Damian Priest beat Sheamus for the United States Championship. Oh, how can I forget? The match that stole the show. Edge versus Seth Rollins. The, the, the beginning of the best rivalry of the year. How can I forget? Absolutely. What? Edge versus Seth Rollins, man, match of the damn year. One of the matches of the year. That's a whole fact. I was, I was making sure I, I didn't forget anything. I had to, I had to have reference because this is a lot. And my shit keeps. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So with Roman Edge, Seth. I'm sorry, Roman and Cena, Seth and Edge. Two of the best matches of the years. Um, and everything else. I give SummerSlam. I give it a I give it a B plus. I give it a B plus. Because number one, that pay-per-view was long. <laughs> yeah, SummerSlam was long, bro. Like, I think so, this yo, SummerSlam ended at midnight. I remember that. Cause I cause when Roman and Cena, because when Roman and Cena ended, I was falling asleep. <laughs> Then I just heard Brock's theme and I, I woke up. <laughs> I swear to God, I woke up because <laughs> I was I, I was pretty much out. Um, so yeah, I get SummerSlam a B plus. 
Moving on to Extreme Rules. <clears throat> yeah, Extreme Rules could be considered one of the worst pay-per-views of the year. <clears throat> Why? Well, consider the fact it's called Extreme Rules, and I think only one match had nothing but Extreme Rules. <laughs> um, other than that, the pay-per-view kind of was just a regular pay-per-view. <clears throat> Uh, you kicked the night off with uh, the New Day versus AJ Styles, Omos, and Bobby Lashley. That was a, a cool way to start it off. Uh, the main event was uh, Roman Reigns versus F the Demon, Finn Balor, in which an act of God stopped the Demon <laughs> from winning. So, in hindsight, this is pretty much what? Good triumph over evil, <laughs> in a sense. Um, which makes no sense because the demon is supposed to be good, but you know the demon is necessarily a symbolism of of, of evil. I don't know. <laughs> um, the Usos beat the Street Profits. Uh, Charlotte beat Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's Championship. Um, Damian Priest retained against Sheamus and Jeff Hardy, and Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch. Uh, Becky Lynch retained. Um, all that. <sighs> what was the best match of the night? Actually, Damian Priest, Sheamus, and Jeff Hardy was a really good match. That probably was the match of the night. Actually, that was the match of the night. That was. Um, I give I give Extreme Rules a D. I give it a D. No pay per view was an F. I say that no pay-per-view is enough because cause we going got two left. We only got two left. And then and the next pay-per-view is actually one of the one of the pay-per-views of the year again. That being Crown Jewel. Now you sit here and think, how is Crown Jewel a pay-per-view that's notorious for not being that great <clears throat> or not being that good? <laughs> Can be one of the pay-per-views of the year. Oh, simple. Because it was. <laughs> I don't know what it was this year, but for some reason, WWE made sure this was a fantastic pay-per-view. They said it was supposed to be bigger than SummerSlam. Probably was in this sense. Headlined by Roman versus Brock. A match we've seen so many times, but this time around, the roles were reversed. And this time, Paul Heyman was in Roman's corner. So the intrigue of the match... Just made it that all must see. And of course, we kicked the night off with Edge versus Seth Rollins, Hell in a Cell, another match of the year, and the trilogy, the ender to the best rivalry of 2021 for WWE. I don't know if I can say of all wrestling, but it definitely is top five. It might be top three. Honestly, because all three of those matches were fantastic. Uh, you had Xavier Woods win King of the Ring against Finn Balor. You had Zelina Vega win Queen of the Ring um, versus Dewdrop. You had uh, Bobby Lashley versus Goldberg in a Falls Count Anywhere match, which was a, which was a solid Falls Count Anywhere match. Uh, you had Mansoor versus Mustafa Ali, which was a very solid match because they got time. So it was a solid match. Uh, Big E versus Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship, which was a good match. That was a good match. What else you had? Uh, RK Bro versus uh, AJ Styles and Omos for the Raw Tag Team Championships. That was a solid match. Um, is that it? Oh, and uh, Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks. Versus Bianca Belair, triple threat for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And that match was from here to there, nonstop. That match was good. So, let's see. You had, a, let's see, you had a match of the year. A couple good matches. I give Crown Jewel. I probably give Crown Jewel an A as well. Yeah. I give Crown Jewel an A as well. Yeah, because Money in the Bank and Crown Jewel were, are like are like here. Like they're, they're both kind of equal because both of them were good. Both of them were good. So I, I give Crown Jewel A as well. And this time and this year, we end the year with Survivor Series. One of my favorite pay-per-views 
of all time. A lot of people said, uh, well, a lot of people call this pay-per-view the worst pay-per-view of the year only because of the fact that it was never, it wasn't booked. It wasn't, it wasn't booked as a top pay-per-view because Survivor Series is one of the four best pay, one of the four biggest pay-per-views of the year. And it wasn't booked that way. It was more booked as this was going to be the final pay-per-view of the year, which it was. <laughs> so I guess people look at it like that. For me... The way the pay-per-view, I agree. You know, I agree. I agree that it wasn't booked. It wasn't booked the way that it should have been. But in terms of the pay-per-view itself, it wasn't bad. I, I don't think it was bad. You know, Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair had a great match. That was a good match. Um, Even though it was two heels. So it was like, eh. <laughs> What the hell could you do? But you felt the hatred and animosity in the match. So, like I, I like I like that match. Uh, the men's traditional Survivor Series match was good. I that was fun for me. That was a fun match. Um, you had RK Bro versus the Usos. That was a cool match. Uh, Damian Priest versus Shinsuke Nakamura was good until the finish. The finish made that match stupid. Um, you had. Oh, you had the women's Survivor Series match in which the result of that match should have been the result of last year. <laughs> but no, we decided to take a whole different turn with it on some dumb-ish. <laughs> and, uh, of course, we had Roman Reigns versus Big E, which was a solid match. Um, So, I mean, you know, above it all, I thought Survivor Series was pretty, pretty all right. I mean, granted, you know, we had the whole Vince McMahon with the egg. You know, I get it. That should have led to something. That actually should have led to The Rock coming back. It should have, but maybe The Rock was just that damn busy that that time, which which I could I could agree. The man's <laughs> one of the biggest movie stars in the world, so <laughs> you know I'm, I'm not I, I I get it, but you know I'm just saying, but could have led to something more than just what it did. <laughs> um, but other than that, um, I guess the virus is a C. I guess the virus is a C. I wouldn't call it the worst pay per view of the year. I give it a C. A C at best. And that was the grading of every WWE pay per view of 2021. Much better than last year, because last year had some horrible pay per views. <laughs> yeah, last year was some bad pay per views, but this year they actually it was a lot. It was a little better. Um, hopefully next year progress. We got day one on Saturday, so look out for the predictions for that on Friday. Um, I still got the year, the WWE review for 2021. I, I want to do the AEW review for 2021. Look out for that. Hopefully I'm going to knock those. Hopefully I'm going to get those out by Thursday. I'll see what's up with it though, but it is what it is. So until it's been Roseanne, man, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love support as always. You already know what it is. So until next time, peace, love, 100. You're it.